Hey everybody, today I thought I'd answer your questions about the search for a technological alien signature. So a lot of people have asked me about the James Webb Space Telescope detecting lights on the same exoplanet. Wow, if that's true. So I dived down this rabbit hole to see what filmmakers on YouTube were saying about lights found on this exoplanet. Oh boy, did you realise there are hundreds, hundreds and hundreds? of very weird YouTube channels that are all exact clones of each other. AI voices, the same script, doing the same story. Uh, I thought there was only a few idiots like me who thought it might be a good idea to do a technological channel talking about space and weird stuff. Uh, but it turns out there are hundreds of clony AI-generated YouTube channels talking about the same stuff. And none of them are very interesting. I try very hard. I read scientific journals. I read scientific papers, which I have to pay for. I email interesting people. I have Zoom calls with people. I try and get to the bottom of stories for you. So has James Webb Space Telescope detected lights on this exoplanet? Uh, probably not, but look at this amazing graphic I found that somebody made. I love it, on the dark side of the planet there's a ring of light that was supposedly what was discovered. Meh. From my research I don't think there's very much to the story. I think it originated from a very interesting paper written in Harvard by Avi Loeb and a few other contributors asking the question whether it might be possible that the James Webb Space Telescope could detect light on exoplanets. And that question opens an enormous door to a new era that we're in right now, let me explain. So the search for extraterrestrial intelligence has changed. It's no longer us looking for them saying hi, it's about us looking for their signatures of them being a technological civilization. We now have those tools. Immensely powerful, immensely sensitive radio telescopes have picked up a technological signature, that's what I'm talking about, but the James Webb Space Telescope can do something really incredible. A technological signature doesn't have to be detected only by a radio transmission, it can be detected by light. So when light shines off an object, take this large rotating asteroid, the light is over there, and it's coming and reflecting off the surface of this rock. Obviously, if you're looking at a star, you're looking at a source of light. But everything else is reflected light. But you can use that reflected light to make a spectrum of what's in this material. So if you look carefully, it's possible to detect a technological signature actually in a rock by the light reflected off it. So what kind of things could you detect? Well, very interestingly, there are a lot of chemicals in our atmosphere here on Earth that don't occur naturally. The most famous is carbofluorides, the kind of stuff you get in a fridge or you used to get in air conditioners and aerosol cans. Of course, it was banned because it was making a hole in our ozone layer. But that's an example of a man-made, a technologically made chemical that doesn't occur naturally. And then there's chemicals like carbon dioxide and methane, which only tend to exist when there's creatures on the planet breathing. So possibly, I think, are a sign of life. I don't know how intelligent, but we definitely breathe. <laughs> so we live in interesting times. We can now detect a technological radio signature from light years away. Amazing! And using the James Webb Space Telescope, is it possible that we can detect life on other planets by their technological or life signatures. Yes, we can now do that. So welcome to the modern world. You and I now live in an era where we can detect a technological or life signature of an ET, a non-human intelligence. That is truly amazing. Network radio telescopes here on Earth with an enormous ear of listening potential. A new radio telescope that's being planned to be built on the dark side of the moon outside of all Earth interference. And the incredible James Webb Space Telescope that can see spectral lines on distant exoplanets that will reveal Wiley. What? 
will reveal the life of a cat. <laughs> One, when I interviewed Dr. Andrew Simeon, the principal investigator at Breakthrough Listen, he also said this very interesting piece of information that technological signatures might not only be electromagnetic, they also could be light and they also could be a technological biological signature that would indicate a technological extraterrestrial civilization. He also said something very intriguing. He said, we're also looking for very tall structures. Oh, they would have to be very tall. There's more going on right now in this hunt for extraterrestrial technological signatures than we all know about. I'm really hoping you're enjoying the kind of things that I'm researching for you. A lot of people have subscribed to my channel. You can go back and look at my older films about other things about ET and space and physics. If you have subscribed, Thank you. Please click the notification bell because subscription alone doesn't guarantee that YouTube will actually push towards you future films that this channel makes. As I said yesterday to you, I'm feeling a bit isolated here in my basement, revealing that we have actually found a technological radio telescope signal. Nobody from Breakthrough Listen. Nobody from SETI has reached out to me to say, I'd like to talk to you about it. So I've been putting out a lot of requests to astrophysicists to actually talk about searching for an extraterrestrial technological signature. And the good news is, on Monday, I talked to a senior scientist where we will openly discuss these very findings and more. So coming early next week, after I do the editing, you can look forward to another fascinating unfolding part in this amazing story because the truth needs to be out there.